There have been a number of new features and improvements made to framing and building construction in Chief Architect X15. Let's begin with the new Auto Truss Framing feature. Roof and floor trusses can be automatically generated, similar to stick framing. For roof trusses, begin by setting up the parameters when building the roof. Select trusses and specify the heel height. On the roof's structure panel, you can enable the automatic framing in addition to enabling it through the framing dialog. The program will generate the roof trusses and fill in the areas with stick framing where trusses can't be generated, and for fascias and lookouts. On gable walls, there is a setting on the wall's structure panel to insert an end truss on the wall replacing the wall's framing. For floor trusses, begin by defining the floor's structure thickness and the truss type framing. In the Build Framing dialog, make the necessary changes, like the on-center spacing and the rim joist selection. The program will automatically generate the trusses for the floor structure. For the floor truss or joist framing, you can eliminate double framing under walls by opening up the wall property and changing the option for floor framing below. When this is unchecked, the program will generate framing and not double joist or truss. When you generate framing schedules, truss previews can be included for elevation or 3D perspective views. For rough openings, there are two methods to specify the added framing space. The previous rough opening behavior is now called clearance gap and allows you to specify a side, top, and bottom clearance. Using additional space, you can set the amount for the width and the height. Both methods allow you to set the rough opening size depending on your preference. Wall framing can be set up to use U-shaped framing in addition to the other corner framing techniques. The U wall framing will provide two stud nailers at the corners. The wall definition dialog was organized with tabs below the wall layers category. It is now organized in three separate tabs, making it easier to find the relevant information. For exterior wall layers, they can be extended down over slabs or foundations. In this cross-section view, the exterior wall is at the top of the subfloor and foundation slab. To extend the exterior wall layer down, you can open the wall's definition and lower any of the exterior layers. In this case, I'll group select the outer layers and enter 3 inches. Back in the section view, you can see how the wall is now below the subfloor. Skylights have sizing controls for the shape, width, and height. A skylight edit tool, like CAD block editing, is available to customize the skylight, allowing you to create unique custom shapes. Floating dormers have an added shaft option to include a ceiling opening to the room below, similar to skylight shafts. There are several great new features in Chief Architect X15, and you can expect to see it this spring. And remember, all new software purchases include support and software assurance. So, if you're not currently a customer, get started today with Chief Architect. <laughs>